Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 Shield with the 4 inch barrel. Only available from their Performance Center. These were released mid to late April, so they are new for 2019. There are various models that are available. This is your bare bones model from the Performance Center. And what this has is a 4 inch barrel and high vis fiber optic rear and front sights. Now you may see others with ported slides and barrels and then some are optic ready. The slides cut for optic ready, others have night sights and the price is significantly higher. Now the MSRP on this is $542. It's a shield so it's not too expensive but check out the performance center case. I'm going to have to run it across like this. It is very wide and short. That's what the local gun store charged. And it also comes with this cleaning kit from their performance center. All right. Now, it also has two magazines, an eight and a seven round. I brought out the original shield so we can do a comparison. But it does have the two magazines. The eight round is, in my opinion, much more advantageous. Not only do you get the additional round, but a full three finger contact is where the seven round, you know, it's a two finger contact. And with that four inch barrel, especially, it just makes sense to me to, to balance out the look, the feel, and of course getting that additional round makes a difference. So if we take a look at the original shield and we'll look at the slide length here, we'll see that there's quite a bit of difference, at least an inch, probably an inch there with the Performance Center 2.0 and then here's what we're looking at now the grip length is the same don't let that fool you because if we take that mag out we'll see that that is identical the one thing the 2.0 models have is uh, more aggressive grip texturing and and they really do feel nice now here is a 2.0 compact this has a 15 round mag all right, so you can compare it to, you know, the Glock 19 and the Glock 48. It's, it's sort of the same idea here, but we have four inch barrels and we'll take a look here and see that the shield is much thinner, but the slide length is the same. And that's the difference that you're looking at with the width on the slide. I mean, the grip, the, the, the width on the grip. So it's very thin, made for carry, in my opinion, and here it is. Now I do like those high vis fiber optic sights. You know, it offers a very nice sight picture, especially with the orange in the rear and the neon green in the front. The one thing that I do not care for are these. Are these slide serrations? Because if they are, they're rather poorly cut. Why, why don't they just move some of the engraving back here or just remove it entirely or put it somewhere else and put actual slide serrations you know i, I kind of like the way those are cut i always have you know it works just fine but uh why can't they do that in the front it would just make sense if you're going to have forward serrations put forward serrations in there but the, the grip feels nice the trigger is the same let me go ahead and demonstrate that all right it's the same hinged trigger the trigger weight no great difference from your standard m p line of handguns all right and that's what we're looking at right there so it's essentially a 2.0 shield with a longer barrel and fiber optic front sights let's go ahead and weigh the gun because i do want to compare it with the original shield you know a lot of people like that additional weight and we'll go ahead let's just do the unloaded weight here without a magazine well let's put the eight round magazine one pound seven and a quarter ounces just ounces 23 and a quarter all right so we put the original shield in here and we'll see that it's 21 even but let's put the seven round mag on and then the 2.0 performance center 25 and 7 eighths and there's another round 26 and a quarter so that's what you're looking at in, when considering the weight and if you decide to carry the gun now here is a smaller one 24 so we're looking at a two ounce difference but what you get is 
that four inch barrel which should help you with accuracy if if you feel that you, you need accuracy i don't know i shoot i shoot this uh this one pretty well let's go ahead and disassemble the shield we have the mag removed and it is unloaded slide is Lock back, we'll take this lever, push it down, release the slide, pull the trigger, and off comes the slide from the frame. I like the texturing that Smith uses with the 2.0 line. I think that stippling feels really nice. That was a nice improvement. And here we have a captured recoil spring and guide rod and the four inch barrel. And there's your slide. The dust cover does not have a rail. It may have a rail with some of the other models. I think I mentioned this is the bottom of the line of the performance center shields with the four point or with the four inch barrel. The, the other ones have other things that shooters may find advantageous, but as far as I'm concerned, this is all I needed. And I look forward to taking this to the range and taking you guys along with me. And we'll see how the four inch performance center shield 2.0 does so far it looks pretty nice if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe